the series uh, Export Quality uh, was dealing with notions of um, sort of theori theoretical ideas around the, the black bodies always being associated with corporeality and, uh, and, and white bodies as, being, as, as holding some connection with transcendence and spirituality. And so in a way to bring back a connection to these sort of faceless pixelated figures of Fijians in my work, I wanted to create a connection with Fijian ancestral sort of ceremony and ritual um, a spirituality that sort of predates any connection with any world war or any modern military involvement. So Masi is the Fijian word for what we know as uh, tapa or Fijian bark cloth. Uh, and it's used quite predominantly in uh, marriages, deaths and uh, at births and ceremonial situations. And uh, Fijian Masi is, is really well known for its quite distinct use of, uh, of black and white sort of negative positive images. Marsi has always been a symbol for and a, and a part of my identity and my understanding of Fijian um, history and contemporary history through, the, through those motifs. Those particular designs are from um, Marsi that was given to me by my father and so it's, it's been with me my entire life. It's one of my only connections to, to the art and, and the cultural practice of my my father, who was actually a carver. So the, the lines that you see represented uh, in the light boxes are actually designs from, from particular carvings that, that he's given me. The title Export Quality actually comes from uh, the text that's on uh, Fiji Bitter that's exported to Australia. Um, so it, it actually says export quality, but what I was trying to do through that work was actually link this idea of bodies as commodities um, seems to be happening more and more um, affecting third world countries. Um, certainly um, the recruitment of Fijians has been um, increasing since about 2003 by um, American, British, Kuwaiti based um, private security military companies, uh, not just in the Pacific Islands but also in, uh, in South America as well. And it has raised, um, it's, it's got some attention from um, human rights groups um, and the UN have sent working groups there to sort of investigate and look at what's happening and look at this growing trend.